Hey guys, today I bring you another tutorial and I am doing voiceover again because I really like the way the last time I did it turned out. So yeah, we're doing that again today. Hopefully you guys don't mind. So this is the look we're going for. It's Iggy Azalea at the recent BET Awards. I don't know how to say that, but it's just a really glowy eye look with a very strong eyeliner and a glossy pink lip. So here is my take on this. It's pretty close, I think. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and if you want to see how I got this, please stay tuned. So starting off with Maybelline's Color Tattoo in Caramel. Cool, it was limited edition, but Rubenesque by MAC would be similar. I love the way a warm look, or a warm base looks with this look because you can use your neutral shadows and it just really makes them shimmer and pop with the eyes, and it looks really cool with the black liner. Okay, so for my transition color today, I am actually just using my bronzer, which is by Essence. It's their one for brunettes, and I'm running that through my crease rather than an eyeshadow. It just simplifies things, but you do want a warm color in that socket. You want it to be very defined. It will really work well with the shape of the eyeliner to make your eye shape pop. And yeah, using the bronzer will just make it look very natural, which is kind of what you're going for. And then, of course, just buffing that out, as I always do with my crease colors. Need them to be soft. Okay, moving in. This is definitely not in focus, so sorry about that. But that was All That Glitters by MAC. It's my main color today. It's kind of a warm champagne color with some shimmer to it. And over that Caramel Cool, you'll see it kind of neutralizes some of the warmth in that. But it just makes the warm colors in the eyeshadow really pop. And I love it. And it just again looks so natural but better than natural if you will and also sorry I was definitely singing during this whole clip <laughs> just really packing that on and then going back in with my bronzer just to re-intensify the socket with Iggy's look I definitely noticed that she had a very defined socket line I think um, the eyeliner definitely will bring that out but just to make sure we are gonna kind of go back and forth and add some more also applying it to the bottom it's all I'm really putting down there just you need some definition to keep you from looking crazy <laughs> And now I'm with the main part of the look, which is the eyeliner. And I did recently pick up this e.l.f. Studio Bent Eyeliner Brush. And you'll see, it really does make it very easy. The eyeliner I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner. And I'm just swirling my brush around in there to make sure it's evenly coated. And then I'm dabbing it off to make sure we don't have any large clumps of eyeliner. Because that would just not be pretty. Okay, so we're starting in. And as you can see, we're going for a very intense feline shape. So starting, as you've probably heard from many people, from the lower lash line and kind of pulling it upwards to create a shape that best matches your eyes. Now, I don't know if this shape is actually best for my eyes. It's a little much, but for this kind of look, you do want that. So you're just connecting it right into your um, lash line. And Icky's shape is kind of straight, so you're kind of going for that. And you'll see in a second how it kind of looks once the liner is just all filled in and drawn on, on the wing. Just a very intense, like, triangular wing. And then we're just connecting it in. Her liner does focus mainly in the outer half of her eye, so you just want a thin strip connecting it to the uh, where the lashes end, basically. And yeah, I'm just doing that, and then I'm actually about to move on to my other eye, and I'm not going to talk through that, but I will say that I had more trouble with the left eye, as I usually do. So you just kind of want to fiddle with it, um, try to get them as even as possible. I go in with Q-tip and makeup remover to clean up the shape in a little and yeah, just keep in mind that it's up to you. Some people are more perfectionist about it than others. I find once all is said and done, if they're pretty close, it's pretty good. So I just fiddled with that for a little and you'll see I did have some trouble with the left eye. I don't know what it is about that angle that always just gets me. Okay, and I'm going back in once I got that to my desired shape, and I like to do some socket work after my do I do my eyeliner because it really shows me where my shape has ended up, where I need to add some more. And then Iggy was wearing a white liner on her waterline for sure, but um, I can't find mine. It seems to have run off, so I'm using Rimmel's Scandalize in Nude. It will actually look more natural, which is kind of nice, so just doing a nude liner in there. And then on to mascara, I'm just applying my Jordana Best Lash Extreme and everything looks better once mascara is on. See that? And my blush was already applied as well. It's Milani's Luminoso, just a glowing warm color that will really complement our strong contour we were rocking. 
And then for lips, we're getting our pink combo. I'm using two products, NYX Lip Liner and Sam Pink, and I am both lining and filling in my lips because this is my main color that's going down, so we want the whole lip to be covered. And then just going to top it off with NYX Butter Gloss in Strawberry Parfait, which is a gorgeous glossy pink, and the combination is just very, very pretty. I think it even is prettier in person than it picks up on camera, so yes doing that and I really love the way the pink lip pairs with that um, stronger eye. It kind of softens it up and gives it a girly effect. And that is going to be the finished look. So here is my look, I guess. If you can see that well, it's a little blurry, but yeah, that's about it. Um, and here's another look. So I hope you guys enjoy this. If you did, be sure to like it below. Subscribe to see more from me. I'll be back in two days with a new video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.